Welcome everybody to a new CTND tutorial. My name is Carlos and today I'm going to show you how to create portfolio assignments. Many faculty here at Medical Campus have asked me how to create assignments in order for students to present their portfolio to, the, to them. This is done in a similar way to creating regular assignments only with different options. To start, in order to be able to make a portfolio assignment more visible to students, it's better that we store it in a different content area. So first of all, we're going to go to the plus, select content area. And I'm going to name it portfolio assignment. Let's not forget to make it available to users so that the students can see it. Let's submit. Now that we have it here, we can go inside. Under assessments, we will, we're going to select assignment. We're going to give it a name. And instructions for the students to follow please submit your portfolio here we're going to select a due date if we wish to this does not need to be required what is required is the points possible for the portfolio I'm going to just input a default value of 100 and in order to differentiate this from a regular assignment we're going to press on submission details and here we're going to see that we have assignment type individual submission, group submission, or portfolio submission. We're going to select portfolio submission. And the portfolio submission, we're going to be asked to select a portfolio template. The template that we want is the one that we're making our students use. In this case, RNBSN. It may change depending on your department. Now we see that we have a template and have set this to be a portfolio submission. We can change the availability if we wish to, but this is not required. Once we're done with that, we press submit. And we now see our assignment here that the students will be able to see. This is it for creating a portfolio assignment. Thank you very much and have a nice day.